Hello everyone, uh, Mr. Kiwi back again. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome, welcome if it's your first time here. This is just going to be a quick unboxing. This is uh, a package I've, uh, I think I only just ordered this on Sunday or Monday and here it is Thursday. It's here already, come from Texas. Uh, if it's what I think it is, I'm very excited. In fact, I know it's what I think it is. Uh, this is pretty interesting. Um, this is uh, from AG Stacker, or AG Stackers, no, AG Stacking, I'm sorry, but I've never seen this before. He's got a personalized shipping label with his P.O. box, but this is his channel logo. He's uh, really big on Instagram. In fact, I had to create an Instagram account to purchase this item, but uh, this is not really a, uh, this is just a quick unboxing because this is not really a, uh, I'm going to kill myself with this knife. Not really a stacking item. In fact, uh, there's already been it's been mentioned on the uh, uh, Cranky Stackers channel, and I think he had some people there pointing out quite rightly that this was an overpriced uh, collectible item. I don't know if I'm opening this right. I can't quite tell. I like to open my boxes, and maybe it's glued because oh, there we go. Okay, I found it. I like to open the boxes so they can be reused. This is a really good sized uh, shipping box by the look of it. Now I know what I'm doing here. I'll speed things up. I can tell this is just a fairly standard box, but it's just got great tape on it. And I think I might have just ruined the box, but we shall see. Okay, this looks like it's well, well packed. Oh yeah, this is the items I was waiting for. Oh, they're in capsules. I wasn't expecting them to be in capsules because they're going to look so much better. There's AG Stacking's um, channel logo, which uh, I'll give him credit for this. This product is, I believe he makes them himself, and if so, he's quite the craftsman, or he has somebody make them who's really good at what they do. Um, don't quite like how he's opening the kimono there, uh, Jamie. What do you think? Is that, is that, uh, considered opening the kimono according to Japanese standards? But yeah, we'll give him his credit. His, uh, his fancy shipping label here with his channel, channel logo. Very nice. We'll put him up there with the Donald. <clears throat> okay, enough of this. Let's get to the point of the video. Uh, if there's anything, oh, yeah, these are self stick. That's nice. I like these. I like these bubble wraps that uh, take good care of any just about anything that you um, put in them, whether it's uh, slab coins or uh, rounds or anything else. Now, I have been warned that I got to be careful where I point these because this is quite literally. You'll see my camera here probably me standing behind the camera this is my first time seeing these in the hand but I've seen the video on uh, Cranky's channel there you can check out my ceiling just amazing this is a 10 gram silver bar I think it's three nines or four nines pure but I don't know what he did to finish these with such a shine and I'm really I'm really not um okay these these flip coin like or US coin like um I'm not sure even what the uh the logos mean I, I don't think you can see my face behind the camera so that's all right um and I don't know how I'm going to be able to if I can I'm going to I'm actually got some natural light so hopefully you can just see how reflective these things are and actually, if I do this just right, you'll actually be able to see out my window. I don't know if you can see the palm tree swinging in the breeze there. Maybe it's not focused. But anyway, this is, I'll try and open one of these really quick. I'm really, I was going to put gloves on and I didn't get them. And I want to make this a, a one cut, a one take recording. So I'm not going to go editing it or messing around. I just want to do this real quick. As I'm so happy to have received these. Now, once again, they're 10 grams, but they're the size, the, the dimensions of a 
one ounce silver bar so they fit the standard one ounce capsule quite nicely but of course they're much much thinner because they're really just less than a third of an ounce this is really not cooperating it's hard to do this kind of one-handed behind the camera so we'll do it properly with the knife but I was going to put gloves on so I didn't touch these I'll just touch the edges and as you can see super thin but basically super califragilistic expialidocious these are just amazing there you go AG stacking three nines fine and as you can see the reflectivity like I said I don't know I can't even see my other hand I don't know what he did to get this finish I mean I've seen shiny proofs before so I don't know if this came from just highly polished and then lasered or I don't believe these could be pressed I just don't think you could have got this shine at this price category off a, off a uh, minted or stamped product just freaking amazing okay well I've gone on here for six minutes it was going to be two or three minutes so I'm going to end it there I do have some other videos coming please keep an eye out I've got some interesting um, information about my tactical pans coming no, it doesn't seem to be hugely popular uh, in this channel but um, really uh, big 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 changes in uh, flying on airplanes with those tactical pans that I want to report on from my own personal experience I've also got the flowing here um, 230 year anniversary coin um, that opening should be coming or my uh, whether I get the uh, the four thousand dollar lottery or the wah 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 uh, video should be coming out here pretty quick and as you can see I ordered uh, quite a few of these at basically less than twenty dollars plus shipping um, I consider these to be in the gift giving category so I've got some friends relatives maybe some business acquaintances who are going to be oh that's good drop it on the other one let's take a look it's world money wind style right there no nope, no dents anyway there's going to be some people blessed with some 10 gram bars here in the near future because for me perhaps it's overpriced from a bullion point of view but to give away something just this nice I think um, 20 bucks is well within the uh, the rules of gift giving thank you all and uh, watch for those other videos coming out hopefully in the next few days I might be able to pump out one a day here for the next few days to get caught up have a great one it's uh, Friday tomorrow have a great weekend if I don't talk to you before